Hi everyone, Melina from Color Art Emotion here. I'm very excited about today's video because I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on Alex Hillcourt's book, Sketching Techniques for Artists. And I'll also be applying the learnings from his book into creating this watercolor painting. It was really a pleasure to read his book. It charged me with a lot of inspiration and I've learned so many new techniques. If you don't know Alex, he's an urban sketcher and a watercolor artist that has a background in cinematography. In the description below, you can find links to his website, his social media and to this book. Now, I'll be sketching a scene from Stockholm following the instructions from Alex's book. And he's very known for painting with watercolor the beautiful architecture from Paris, especially cafes with red awnings. And he gives many examples on how to pick your subject and he explains that if you're looking to create the illusion of depth, look for sharp angles. So here I have a book called Guide to Stockholm's Architecture that has a map of the city and luckily I have found this building over here that has both a sharp angle and a cafe with red umbrellas, so perfect match. And this building looks like this. I'll be sketching on ash watercolor paper and this paper is 100% cotton based and I'll put this small tape under it to have a bit of inclination and help the water flow. For the pencil sketch I will use a mechanical pencil to obtain a thin under sketch and after that I will be using a noodler's fountain pen. The book has an entire chapter on supplies that Alex likes and recommends. For him, the tools are not just tools. For example, in this sketch, he explains how his brushes are communicating to him. It is a book that opens your eyes and shows you how to look at everything that is around you. To see the meaning that every object, every tool brings in your life. The happiness that you experience through these tools. As mentioned before, Alex has been working in the movie industry for over 20 years and, of course, this influenced a lot his way of seeing the world. So, going through Alex's book feels like entering a story. You can really feel how the story arch evolves and the transformation happening in you. For Alex, the city is like a stage and the buildings are like the characters of a movie. Every building is unique, it has its own personality that has been shaped throughout the years by so many factors. Buildings, like people, have different relationships with other buildings, they have brothers and sisters, and they are always doing something, behaving in a certain way, dancing around the city, communicating with each other. Like people, buildings also need clothes to give them a twist or to protect them from bad weather. Now, I want to show you a diagram from the book where Alex explains that it is much easier to sketch a building by capturing its main gesture. Gesture is a concept that often applies to figure drawing, but it can also be applied when sketching architecture. He gives this example where the building seems to be stretching to reach the sky. And he points out that this is the main gesture we can communicate in this sketch. By the way, this book is not only about sketching architecture, it also has chapters on sketching people, landscapes, still life and painting with watercolor. Now I will add a few dark accents with a pen and waterproof ink and I'll try to keep the ink marks to minimum. Alex usually adds ink marks only where the darkest darks are and keeps the sketch very loose. In the book we can also find a chapter on how to suggest details without really drawing every detail. And we can also find many tips and techniques together with the experience and the thought process behind every sketch. Alex explains why he sketches in a certain way, how he chooses subjects to paint and how we can make better choices as well. He points out that you can learn so much only by being curious about the world around and integrate what you observe or feel in your sketches. In this example with the windows, we can see how just a few squiggles carefully placed in a row following the perspective will read as windows and that we don't need to always draw perfect rectangles. So now, I'll continue sketching by following the instructions from the book and I'll try to suggest these windows on the lateral facade with only a few squiggles. 
In the book, there is an entire chapter on composition, different types of composition, rules of composition, and many more. I want to keep this sketch simple, so I don't want to include a lot of the lateral sides, just enough to have the building as my main subject and a bit of the surrounding to suggest the feel of the city. Here I have a few brushes that I will be using for painting with watercolor. Two soft natural hair brushes, a hake brush and a synthetic brush. For more details on my supplies, check the description below. In the watercolor painting chapter of the book, Alex tells us about the basic principles of painting with watercolor and then he shares examples with the different stages of a painting. Alex has a very free painting style and it's about the ongoing conversation that happens between you, your brushes, the watercolor paint, the subject in front of you, the light that dances around. In the book, he points out many times that sketches represent a dialogue and that they communicate something to someone, even if that someone is us many years later. Now I'll continue painting by following the instructions from the book and I'll come back again close to the end of the video. What I've learned from this book is that sketching and watercolor painting is much more than just putting colors on paper. It is a powerful expression of our soul that captures a moment from our lives when we feel in a certain way. It is a journey that transforms us. In this video, I have touched only a fraction of the information that you can find in this book. Ultimately, I think Alex Hillcourt's book Sketching Techniques for Artists is full of precious inspiration and many sketching techniques that will help you a lot no matter if you're a beginner or an experienced artist. 
Let me know what are your thoughts on this video and I really hope you've enjoyed it. 